Number 10, Dio Gracias. Whoa, this is the big, exciting finish of the piece before they recess out. And it starts with this great A minor chord. And you're, you're coming in alone without the choir, and you can just give this all you've got. Just because it, it just sets them up so nicely, and then they come in, and we have this chord again in this case with them. Or, well, just, just after they've, they've done some stuff. Um, so yeah, just just give those all all you've got, and they're marked broken, but not too much of a break. You know, if we that just doesn't work. It's uh, this piece is very rhythmic and it's fairly fast, so y you know you can't afford much of a break. And in order to give it just a really powerful start, it's just you know just a nice fierce fast break, and then we get. thoughts on that it's it's tricky because it's, it's low it's all this finger stuff low down on these big fat strings hard to avoid some buzzing and replacing sounds so that's a place to practice for sure and it's also tricky a little bit tricky rhythmically because what what we want to hear is you know this this uh, where one comes is rather peculiar throughout this whole section. So this is a case where feel free to accent that one. You're not going to hear too much accent. I mean, it's it's tricky for the choir here, so anything you can do to make sure that that downbeat is clear is 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 fine. As long as, of course, you're not, as long as we're not just only hearing that downbeat, you know, we have to hear the whole, all of these, um, all of these notes, but make sure that you're really feeling that, that downbeat. And that's another tricky spot is doing this and, and getting, starting, making sure that it doesn't take up too much time. And you have to start that, those grace notes before the beat. You have to anticipate the downbeat to make sure that 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 A is coming right on the beat. And you know, at speed, it's hard to necessarily do that much of an accent, and maybe that's a little bit much. But again, really feel that, and. Speaking of speed, that's actually not that much slower than it often goes. Um, and it just, you know, every choir will be different in terms of their, their tempo, but you can be surprised sometimes at actually how slow they are. Like, I mean, it's good to practice this fast, but sometimes it'll be, it'll be slower. It'll be slower than you expect. So just be aware of that. And we get that again. And then we get it up here, which is a lot easier. <laughs> Quite difficult. You heard me buzzing away there. Um, it's it's just again it's something that's not it's so much easier on the piano. These these back and forth chords where you don't have to worry about any replacing stuff. So just take that really slow. Figure out how to fit that right hand in there without buzzing. And then the left hand. Yeah, 
this is one again where it's just a lot of, of time a lot of taking it really slow you know even slower even, even slower than that slow slow and cranking up one metronome notch at a time also doing it without the metronome and just spending as much time as you need to to really make sure that you're getting a good approach on each chord and and gradually working it up it's once you know it, once you've learned it, and, and obviously memorize that little section and um, have it in decent shape, it's not that bad, right? It's not that bad. But learning it does take some work, so that's an, a, a section to look out for. And then we just have these glisses. <laughs> Etc. to uh, finish it off. So a little bit of a break there, and but of course it sounds great, it sounds good. And then we're done. So that's, of course, well then there's a the recession, but again, that's often we don't play, and uh, if we do, it's just like number one. So there we are, Britain's Ceremony of Carols. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and love to hear from you, and look forward to seeing you again next Tuesday. Cheers.